Welcome back again and today we will continue our lecture on ESL vocabulary. Semantic priming, the effect of being able to recognize a word, example, doctor, more rapidly after exposure to a semantically similar word, example, nurse, than after exposure to a semantically more distant word. The word nurse primes the word doctor. Semantic representation, a symbolic system suitable for the characterization of the meaning of natural language utterances in a computer, example, logic-based expressions or semantic networks. Semantic rules, principles for determining the meaning of larger units like sentences from the meaning of smaller units like noun phrases and verb phrases. Semiotics, the study of signs and sign processes, semiosis, indication, designation, likeness, analogy, metaphor, symbolism, signification, and communication. It is closely related to the field of linguistics, which, for its part, studies the structure and meaning of language more specifically and studies non-linguistic sign systems. Semiotics is often divided into three branches. Semantics relation between signs and the things to which they refer, their denotata, or meaning. Syntactics relations among signs in formal structures. Pragmatics relation between signs and sign-using agents. Sense, the inherent part of an expression's meaning that, together with context, determines its referent. For example, knowing the sense or intention of a noun phrase such as the President of the United States in the year 1984 allows one to determine that Ronald Reagan is the referent. AKA intention. Sentence, S, AKA a TP, tense phrase. A syntactic category of expressions consisting minimally of a noun phrase, NP, followed by a verb phrase, VP, in D structure. The head of S is the category AUX. Sentence stress, where stress is added to a word to help relay meaning to the spoken sentence. Sentence strips, technique that can be used in a variety of ways at all grade levels. In reading slash language arts, students can review events in a story by writing each event on a sentence strip, then sequencing the strips to retell the story. This technique can be applied in science to sequence steps in an experiment or in math to sequence the steps for problem solving. Sentential semantics, the subfield of semantics concerned with the meaning of syntactic units larger than the word. Sequential bilingualism, refers to the acquisition of a second language by someone, adult or child, who has already acquired a first language. Shadowing task, an experiment in which subjects are asked to repeat what they hear as rapidly as possible as it is being spoken. During the task, subjects often unconsciously correct errors in the input. Sibilance, the class of sounds that includes alveolar and palatal fricatives and affricates, characterized acoustically by an abundance of high frequencies perceived as hissing, example, s, t. Sign, a single gesture, possibly with complex meaning in the sign languages used by the deaf. Sign language, complex language used by persons with a hearing deficit. It features configuration, movement and location. Linguistic units such as morphemes and words as well as grammatical relations are formed by manual and other body movements. Simultaneous bilingualism, simultaneous acquisition of two languages beginning in infancy or before the age of three years. Singing, using song in the ELL classroom to help students feel more comfortable until they are confident of their speaking abilities. Sisters, in a phrase structure tree, two categories that are directly under the same node, example, V, and the direct object NP are sisters inside the verb phrase. Situational context, knowledge of who is speaking, who is listening, what objects are being discussed, and general facts about the world we live in, used to aid in the interpretation of meaning. Slang words and phrases, words used in casual speech, often invented and spread by close-knit social or age groups, and fast-changing and are not used in the speaker's dialect or language but are acceptable. Slip of the tongue, an involuntary deviation of an intended utterance. See Spoonerism. A.K.A. Speech Error. Small Group Instructional Diagnosis. A small groups of trained staff spend a class session asking a teacher students about areas of teacher effectiveness, activities, materials, helpfulness, etc. Social dialect, a dialect spoken by members of a group delineated by socioeconomic class, racial background, place of origin, or gender, 
and perpetuated by the integrity of the social class. Societal bilingualism, the mutual abilities of a community to speak two, or more, languages with native or near-native proficiency. C. Bilingualism, individual bilingualism. Sociolinguistics concentration, sociolinguists study the interaction between language and the human society. They focus on human societies and language by looking at the context of age, ethnicity, social class, sex, the uses, the type, and many other areas that affect how humans acquired language are of interest to a sociolinguist. Sociolinguistic variable, a linguistic phenomenon such as double negation whose occurrence varies according to the social context of the speaker. Sociocultural context, sociocultural context refers to the idea that language, rather than existing in isolation, is closely linked to the culture and society in which it is used. Teachers can raise awareness of sociocultural context by analyzing newspaper headlines, reading advertisements, and examining the use of slang and idioms. Sonorance, the class of sounds that includes vowels, glides, liquids, and nasals, non-obstruents. C. Obstruents. Sound change, C. Sound shift. Sound shift, historical phonological change. Also called sound change. Sound reduction and linking, a central problem with students learning English when a student pauses between words for too long a time. English sound and reduction patterns should be modeled and taught to students early in their acquisition of English. This will enable students to speak in a more normal pattern while speaking English. Sound symbolism, the notion that certain sound combinations occur in semantically similar words, example, gl and gleam, glisten, glitter, which all relate to vision. Well, that is all the time we have for today. I hope to see you next time.